Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options available for your 2016 Honda Civic sedan. Now when you look for hitches for your vehicle, these are going to be the top three choices. Up here we have the Kirk Class 1, part number C11604. Here we have the Draw Tight Class 1, part number 24937. And then at the bottom we have the Draw Tight Class 1 as well, part number 24954. First off, the Kurt hitch up at the top here is going to have this round tube design and it's actually going to install a little bit differently as it's going to hang underneath your bumper. The other two draw tights are going to have this square frame and are actually going to be housed behind the bumper so it's just going to be the hitch that's going to be sticking out. Another difference between these hitches, with the Kurt up at the top we're going to have this reinforced end while the draw tights just have a flush end. Now another difference is going to be the safety chain loops. You can see that the draw tights just have the standard circular design here while the curd up at the top is going to have this more squared off and also the openings are going to be slightly smaller. However, the curd has a slight advantage in this in that the pinhole itself is a little bit further away from the, the safety chain loop so it won't hinder as much when you have a pin or a locking pin installed. And also, the curd hitch does come with a pin and clip included. Now as far as weight capacities are concerned, all three of these hitches will be the same. It's going to have a 200 pound tongue weight capacity and that's going to be the force pushing down on the hitch and a 2000 pound towing capacity which is how much the trailer hitch can pull. For non-trailer loads such as bike racks and cargo carriers, Kurt recommends the use of a stabilization strap. In conclusion, as far as weight capacity and towing and recreational are concerned, all three of these hitches are pretty much on par with each other. And finally, in terms of ease of install, while this one may be a slightly easier to install as these two, you actually have to remove the bumper to install them. And we hope this makes your bike decision easier for your hunt. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.